Okay, great. Well, good morning, everyone. Appreciate you jumping on the call. I do see a couple of questions coming through in the chat box. So maybe what we'll do, once I get through with the Yale portion of the presentation, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer some questions. Um, again, good morning. I am Patrick Blazer. I'm the National Sales Manager with Yale. So again, welcome to the call. And with that, uh, we'll, we'll get started. So obviously, we're going to talk a little bit about both, both products today, but understand that uh, Asa Abloy, uh, our parent company here at Yale, also acquired August uh, really around the first of the year. And, and so with that, of course, we've been able to do a lot of neat things and you're gonna see more and more emerge over time. And, and we'll touch on that a little bit more with August as, as we move through this. But I want you to understand the, the nature of the relationship. And yes, we, we really are one organization now. Uh, and as you can imagine, leveraging both products within the pro channel uh, is very beneficial for us. So. So who is Asa Abloy, our parent company? Just in general, to give you a sense for who we are, um, we are certainly the global leader in indoor hardware. You get a sense there for our, our, our market share and size. We're almost a $9 billion a year organization. And you can kind of see our, our global reach, of course, throughout the world. And, and I will tell you this, um, if you're looking at a, at a commercial door anywhere, there's a really good chance that there's an Asa Abloy product on it. Um, residentially, again, that would be Yale, M-Tech, or August, but, but commercially, I'm sure many of you know our brands as well, to include OHID oh, and Adams Wright, um, and I could go on and on and on, alarm controls, but again, our, our, our reach is, is far. You certainly get a sense for who our national partners are there globally, not only from a wholesale and retail perspective, but, but from a, uh, from a um, uh, integration or service company perspective as well. So, so what is the story here behind Yale and August? So really the way we see this and moving forward is that for, for a smarter and safer front door, we're giving you multiple solutions now. If we're talking about a Yale product, that's really a replacement product, right? We're, we're taking your existing deadbolt off the door and we're replacing it. Uh, and that could be, I would say deadbolt or a lever for that matter. And we're, we're removing it from the door and we're replacing it with the Yale Real Living product altogether. So complete replacement of your existing deadbolt and or lever. If we're talking August, now we're really talking about a works with or a retrofit style device that allows you to maintain the existing look or deadbolt on the front door or style while simply replacing the interior. And this interior unit could be a Bluetooth only type unit. It could be Bluetooth and Z-Wave or frankly, it might be Bluetooth to Z-Wave and Wi-Fi. So there's multiple applications there. And, and again, we'll dive into that a little bit deeper with Mike Buckingham uh, from August here, here shortly. So why are we your favorite lock? Well, we, we certainly know and believe wholeheartedly that we're a step above the rest. Uh, I would like to think that if you've used our product in the past, uh, maybe over one of our competitors, you can you can feel and see a significant difference. Uh, that being said, I, I saw a question come through a minute ago where somebody was asking about warranty and maybe had an issue with one of the touch screens. You know, all those things are under a lifetime warranty um, based on, you know, mechanics, finish, exterior, um, mechanical. The, uh, the electronic portion is actually a one-year warranty. That would really include the radio primarily. But frankly, if, if there's a good reason, I've never noticed not to not to extend a lifetime warranty to that as well, frankly. Um, but I will tell you, it is a lifetime on the exterior finish and mechanics. Um, what you're looking at here, just to give you a brief overview, is our Assure product family. So this is all 500 series Z-Wave or Z-Wave Plus. You see push button, you see touch screen, you see keyed, you see key free. Uh, and then to the far right, you see a, a unique product that some of you might be familiar with by now, but this is our, um, you know, Yale, or I should say our Nest by Yale Deadbolt that we designed exclusively for Nest. And instead of working off of what we would call Z-Wave or Zigbee wireless protocol, it's working on what we thought would call thread weave, uh, but it's a proprietary Wi-Fi protocol uh, exclusively for Nest. So we'll, we'll dive a little bit deeper in some of our offerings. We're going to talk about the, the B1L and the T1L, T1L here for a minute, or what you might know as our YRD 110 or 120. So 
I think we all understand, and I'll talk a little bit about the sales side of things, but, but understanding this is basically an hour long call, I'll, I'll kind of have to be brief and I would encourage any and all of you to reach out to me at any time to dive in, dive into this a little bit deeper. I'm, I'm more than happy to, but, but again, why are these locks proving to be such versatile tools, right? We know we've been t telling this story for a long time that they reduce attrition, right? Installing these products on a home security system or an intrusion system that might have a reoccurring revenue stream with it is ideal because it keeps your customers in place. It really reduces attrition by creating a stickier customer who sees great value in the system they have. You can add additional RMR. You can replace an existing item in your home rather than creating a, a new item altogether, which is very easy for people then to, to um, kind of get, get comfortable with or, or, or take on the, the user cases with. It's not like you're retraining them to go use a product they've really never used before. So they've been using their deadbolt or their lever for many, many years. So if I, aside from some you know unique differences, frankly, you're not changing their habits and this becomes a very habit forming device. You're simply asking them to walk in and out of their door and interface with one of our products. And, and by doing that, it really improves lifestyle by providing information and control and ease of use. So to dive again a little bit deeper into these products. So this is our wire B110 or what we call B1L. It is a key free um, Z-Wave product. This happens to be push button. It's a 10 button numeric keypad. It's completely backlit. It's fully supervised. It operates off of four AA um, alkaline batteries. So very easy to, to replace batteries. Um, with the Z-Wave on board, um, you can manage up to 100 user codes. It's got a very quiet motor, as many of you know. It's fully gasketed, so it keeps you know weather out, mother nature out. It dampens the sound of the motor. And it's a very friendly install, and in that you don't risk scratching the door, or dimpling the door, right, uh, or creating an impression on the door because the gasket really prohibits that from happening. Um, again, 100% key free, but in doing that, of course, we've included what we call a nine volt battery override. So in slides to come, you'll see that a little bit further. But please notice those two little terminals on the bottom of that deadbolt. Those, in fact, allow you to, to, to power up that product if the battery should fail by attaching a 9-volt battery there or touching a 9-volt battery there. So the use case would be this. You come home, the batteries are dead, you ignore the supervisory condition for the two weeks leading up to that, you are now locked out, okay? There's a good chance you don't have a 9-volt battery in your pocket, but I will tell you a quick ride to the Circle K or the drugstore in your area to buy a 9-volt battery energize that lock, enter your code and, and gain entry into your home is far less painful than reaching into your pocket for a key that no longer exists because you got rid of keys long ago when you moved to electronic hardware and or frankly, it's a lot less painful than calling a locksmith at 10 o'clock at night and having to wait an hour and a half and, and, and maybe you know pay two or $300 to have that replaced. So very easy and simple to use. The, the next product I'm going to show you is its sister product. It's really the exact same solution, but it's with a touch screen versus push button. Again, fully backlit, same 9-volt battery override, same 100 user codes, all Z-Wave. In the case of these two products, the Z-Wave is on board, so it's built into the motherboard, whereas what you'll find with our Sure product family that we looked at a minute ago, and we'll look at again here in a second, is all modular. So there you could have Z-Wave, Zigbee, um, HomeKit, um, you know, Bluetooth. You can do a lot of different things there with that product as well. But as you can imagine, the price tag is a little bit higher also. So to dive in a little bit deeper on the key-free solution, again, here you can get a good uh, example or illustration of what that 9-volt battery override looks like and how you would adhere it or touch it to those terminals to energize that, that deadbolt. Um, real small footprint there again on this product, uh, one, you know, one button enrollment, one button factory reset. So again, very easy to enroll into the panel or reset should you need to. And just to give you a sense for how quickly and popular key free has become, um, over 55% of the locks we sell are now, are now key free. Uh, and that's not an accident. You know, we looked at the automotive industry and others that were really moving in this direction. And to us, it was truly a no brainer. People don't want to manage keys anymore as a whole. If they want to, fine. We'll provide them with a product that has a keyway. 
We're not suggesting there's not a place for that anymore, but we are suggesting that things are changing and key free really is becoming unbelievably popular. We find that even when people have products with key ways, they do away with their keys very quickly thereafter. And should they ever need that key again to unlock the door, we find that they no longer have it available because it's been put in a junk drawer, it's hanging out a hook inside the house, or frankly, they've just lost track of it because they've grown accustomed to no longer using a key. So I think that in and of itself has made these products very, very popular. All right, so I'm scooting right along here again uh, because our time is a little bit limited. So we'll talk a little bit more about the Assure product family that, that we touched on early on. So again, now here you have a push button product, fully backlit, but it has a keyway. Functionality is very similar, still is fully gasketed to seal out mother nature, to protect the door, um, to dampen the sound of the motor. Some of the uniquenesses of this product as well is that these are now modular. So now this could be Z-Wave, it could be Zigbee, it could be HomeKit, it could be Bluetooth. It will also allow you to manage up to 250 user codes. So it's a little bit more robust in nature there. And then if you look at the right side of the interior portion there, you see a little black button to the right of the thumb turn. That is actually a privacy button. So now on the interior, you actually have the ability to kill the touch screen from the interior. Let's say you're at home, you don't want anybody gaining access to that lock. You can push that button, of course, hold it for three seconds, and it will kill the keypad until you unlock the door from the inside. So it does add some additional features such, such as that, such as privacy mode. Here is that same product uh, in a capacitive touch. So again, fully backlit. I think you guys know the rest of the story here. Very popular item as well. And again, let me point out, the prices you're seeing here in the bubbles at the bottom are really referring to MSRP. And yes, we offer these products in both um, standalone, <clears throat> which would mean no radio at all, or modular, which means Z-Wave, Zigbee, HomeKit, et cetera. Okay, and last, but, but certainly not least, um, is our new, what we call a Sure SL or Wire D256. Um, it's been hugely popular. Capacitive touchscreen, much smaller footprint, slimmer profile, but all that same wonderful functionality uh, of, of the previous product. All of these products, as you can imagine, come in satin nickel, or rub bronze, or polished brass. And I will tell you, this, this guy here has been wildly popular. So popular, in fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a push button version of this at some point in the future. I won't spend too much time here on specs. I think we've covered a lot of that. I'll let you take a quick glance there. Uh, and again, Joel, to make it clear to those listening, and again, thank you for being on the call. I'm happy to make this information available to you afterward. What I want to point out on this page here, this slide here, I should say, is the built app you're seeing shown. I would encourage everyone on this call to load that app to their smartphone. Um, there is no charge for that. We helped build, design this app. What you'll find on it is some great tutorials on how to install and program the product. What's very nice about this is that it's much more than an animated video. It is a video that you can pause, you can zoom in on, you can rotate the image of, and it really gives you a full, you know, 360 3D um, uh, image into the install of this product. So a great kind of, you know, cheat sheet, if you will, but on a smart device. Uh, for end users that, that might be installing these, again, another great resource on how to install a product and a nice reference tool. So I'd encourage you all to download that and take a look. So, so moving right along, you're now seeing our Assure Lever product. This is going to look a little bit different than what you're accustomed to seeing. So we still have our legacy product out there. It is a 300 series Z-Wave product lever, but what you're going to see this fall um, is our new lever sets being being introduced that are both capacitive touch and push button. What you're seeing unique to these is also those two little hash marks at the bottom of the touch screen. That is also a nine volt battery override. We feel strongly as, as though, you know, as we move forward, we're gonna offer that nine volt battery override even on our key solutions because we find there again that people are doing away with keys uh, if they want a key, great, but we have a, a pretty good sense that they're probably going to lose those over time. 
and having that 9 volt battery override available to them could be a, a real nice benefit. What you'll see with these guys also is that they have voice assistance that will speak to you in three different languages. Of course, they continue to come with keys and they're fully modular. So you're seeing a, a kind of a peek under the, uh, the tent of, of what's to come there. Um, and then here's kind of a nice view of, of the product family as it exists currently in single family residential. Everything from our YRD 110, 120, 256, 226, 216, and then the new lever sets. Here you're seeing a different style handle with those lever, but it is still that same new lever set. And we're likely to make one or two lever sets or styles available to you as it relates to those handles. So again, where do, we, you know, where do we use levers? Where do we use deadbolts? I, I would imagine you all feel pretty comfortable with this at this point, so I'll move through it quickly. But again, levers are to be installed just that way in, in a single borehole door typically that doesn't have a deadbolt on it. That's where you're gonna install an electronic lever. And where are you gonna install an electronic deadbolt? You're typically gonna do that on the door with two boreholes, right? You're gonna have a passage lever or knob or thumb set on the lower borehole. And then on the upper borehole, you'd have that electronic deadbolt that would allow you to lock and unlock the door electronically or remotely. So pretty self-explanatory there. Um, I'll, I'll move briefly through this, but you know we really are covering, I think, your smart home in a, in a big way these days. Um, you know, you're doing it again with an Assure product that could be modular. You might be using the YRD 110 or 120 as well. But what's unique, unique, I should say, again, about this Assure product is that it is modular. So whether you're working with a Z-Wave configuration, a Zigbee configuration, an Apple HomeKit configuration, um, uh, I might have mentioned, again, a Zigbee configuration there at the bottom, you have the ability to order those with the appropriate wireless protocol. So, so pretty straightforward, pretty easy, pretty neat. And again, that can be used with integration of an intrusion panel, or it might be integration of a home control panel, um, or ultimately it, it might even be integration um, through through another module soon to be exposed to you all <laughs> later this year. So, so a lot of fun stuff going on here. We realize the intrusion space is growing in a big way, uh, and the automation space is, is becoming a, a, a huge opportunity for us all, and we don't want to get pigeonholed into thinking that, hey, this stuff can only be integrated with intrusion panels. We need to broaden our scope there and understand that it can be integrated with, with home automation panels as well and be more of a standalone type solution uh, in addition to that. So more to come there. Again, in looking at who are we compatible with, this is just a, 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 a small slice of, of who some of those partners may be but I think it makes pretty clear that, that we really are compatible with 99.9% .9 of, of what's out there. So you can feel good about that. You can feel good about knowing we've got an integration team that, that works on this stuff every day. Should you ever have an issue with any type of integration, I would encourage you to reach out to us. We, we want to know about that. We want to support you. And uh, we take that stuff very seriously. So, so moving again right along, and I know I'm moving at a fast pace here, folks, so forgive me. But I want to introduce you to, to our Nest um, you know, product by Yale. Um, it's been wildly successful. As you know, it integrates with the Nest um, app, I should say, or the, or the Nest Connect. Um, all of this product has been bundled with the Nest Connect from Yale. So in other words, if you buy this product, you can kind of see that to the right of the touchscreen. That is the Connect module that would be required to integrate it into that Nest ecosystem. But the beauty there again is it installs just like our Yale Real Living product for AA alkaline batteries, very easy to enroll. Batteries will give you 10 to 12 months of life, fully gasketed. I mean, you, you kind of get the story here. The functionality is, is tremendous. Um, and what's nice here again is it's integrated into the Nest app. You're not stepping out of the Nest app and into our app and then back again. It is on or within that Nest app, and that's what makes this so unique. This isn't a works with product, right? It is a Nest product, and there's, so there's a big difference there. And, and for those of you that have already installed it and used it, I'm sure that's become very clear to you very quickly. Um, so not only will it, will it integrate in that ecosystem using the Nest Connect module, 
but you can also, of course, integrate with Nest Secure as well. So again, I think some, some wonderful opportunity there. Um, and of course, this too is located on our built app. So again, if you, if you need that cheat sheet or that reference tool on how to install it properly, I think this does a very nice job of that. I'm gonna move into our small business and multifamily solutions here quickly. Um, so again, we've got our next touch commercial grade lever, which again, modular Z-Wave Zigbee lever, great applications within small business for this. You could integrate this into an intrusion panel and then using remote services like uh, Total Connect from Honeywell or Alarm.com, you have access to this remotely. You can create schedules, you can assign user codes, you can really manage this via some of those applications as an access control solution. And the beauty of it is it meets commercial grade standards, three hour UL fire rating, but more importantly, it comes in y'all at a price point that is significantly less than traditional access control. I mean, imagine installing two of these levers in a small business to create an access control environment at four to $500 a lever versus $2,500 a door for traditional access control. You can paint a very aggressive picture here for, for small business owners that might've said, I can't afford to install traditional access control, but something like this integrated into my intrusion system or maybe a standalone um, small business automation platform could be very, very enticing and very, very beneficial. And frankly, whether standalone or not, you might have an opportunity to drive some additional RMR here by offering remote services as well. So again, another great opportunity. Moving right along, we've got some, some multifamily applications. This is our new interconnect product that takes really any one of our existing Assure deadbolts and integrates it into a piece of mechanical hardware that now we're finding is sometimes required by code in that when you're on the exterior of the unit, so think about a hotel room type application, but it's really moving into multifamily. You're on the interior of your home or your, or your multifamily unit, and when you leave and you throw that lever, it has to create single action egress. So from the interior, when you throw that lever, the lever and the deadbolt are retracting at the same time, allowing you free egress. Yet from the exterior, you're simply putting in your four or five or six digit user code and gaining entry into your unit and then throwing the passage lever below that as you traditionally would. But all of that now is connected into a Z-Wave or a Zigbee ecosystem. So if you're scratching your head saying, well, geez, I think I've seen stuff like this before. I would tell you, yes, you have. But what you haven't seen is it connected with Z-Wave. So as multifamily continues to explode, we've got folks saying, look, I want connected solutions in that space using Z-Wave and an intrusion hub or an automation hub, but I also need it mechanically to meet code, which is single action egress from the interior. That's what makes this very unique. And, and if you're not familiar with this, and again, want to talk more about it, please reach out. Huge opportunity here, and that environment is exploding. So I'm going to pause there, and in a second, we're going to move over to August. Um, Joel, do you want to take a quick second and, and open it up to a couple? So again, I see that one where it says Yale screens uh, sometimes seem to get scratched or unreadable. Um, so here's what's happening there. Um, probably what's happened is the UV screen has been penetrated. And when that happens and UV light gets in, um, it can be very damaging. Now, typically that's going to be on a lot that is really getting direct sunlight on a regular basis. And, that, and that's what may have caused that. If that does in fact happen, totally warranted. Totally happy to replace that product. So please reach out um, to our tech support team. The number there real quick on tech support, new number for some of those that might've been using our old 810 number. The new number is 855-213-5841. 855-213-5841. Okay, um, so let's see what else. Oh, I see call tech support, let them know. Good, thank you for putting that out there. Um, let's see if I can find another question here. Uh, the record version. Wow, you guys are great. Um, a lot of it is about being able to hear me. <laughs> it sounds like our product's doing well for you. That makes me happy. Uh, Bob, I believe all of these new locks at this point have Z-Wave Plus. They do. Thank you for asking. Again, they are 500 series Z-Wave, excluding that YRD 110 and 120, the B1L and T1L. They are still currently 300 series, right? It's a very aggressively priced product. They will be, those are the last two that will transition 
to 500 series, and that will come early next year. You know, the good news here is right now we're not getting a lot of demand for 500 series because, frankly, a lot of the panels really can't support that fully. So it hasn't been a hindrance in any way, um, but we did move all the Assure over right away. The modular products, the B1L and T1L will, will transition uh, early next year to the 500 series as well. Thanks for asking the question. Um, we talked about Next or Nest. So I'm going to skip over that one. Um, let's see, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I, I see a lot of the same. Um, so I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let Mike take over. And again, I'd encourage you all to reach out uh, after the call should you need me. So that having been said, Mike, I'm turning it over to you, sir. Thank you, Patrick, for the overview. Um, the August team is thrilled to be a part of the ASA Obloy organization. Um, okay, good. Thank you. Good sound now. Appreciate that. Um, and, and obviously, from an August Pro perspective, uh, Worthington's been a partner with us uh, since the very beginning. We launched the Pro Division in 2016, but being able to partner with Yale and Asa Abloy really moves um, August into um, the real professional space, we feel. And, and you'll see at upcoming shows, we are uh, partnering with Yale for trade shows and, and doing some co-branding and then also um, you'll see co-product development um, you know start to happen as as Patrick alluded to um, but nothing we can share quite yet so that'll be our hook and maybe we'll come back with another webinar uh, when we have more information to share uh, but what we do have to share is is rather exciting at this time anyway um, and that's just I want to provide a better understanding of the August product and how it's applicable to dealers and installers in the field. Um, hopefully by now most of you are familiar with the August product lineup. Patrick touched on um, the retrofit um, or adapter uh, locks that have made August famous. Um, and that's really the, uh, the identity of the August hardware is uh, the lock installs, the hardware installs on the inside of the door. There's no need to replace your keys um, or the outside hardware. Um, and and you know, our tagline is providing customers with total control over the front door. However, I tend to describe this system uh, as a cloud-based access control solution. And I think that really starts to tie in um, the power uh, of the system. You can provide um, you, you can enable and revoke uh, access remotely from the app, provide pin codes, um, and, and, and also by, by incorporating a doorbell camera, see and speak with visitors at your front door and also provide access um, you know, while you're having that conversation. So cloud-based access control solution, we're going to have a lot more to share on this in the upcoming months as we expand this product line. Um, but that's a way that I, I tend to describe this, and I'll go through some screenshots um, here in a few minutes uh, with the app to kind of give you a better idea um, about what I'm saying there. The August product line uh, expanded last year. Um, last October, we, we introduced the August Smart Lock, which is the product on the far left um, as a more traditional uh, entry-level product, um, less feature sets than um, the new August Smart Lock Pro, uh, which is a third generation um, of our kind of traditional style of uh, retrofit lock. Uh, this version introduced Z-Wave on board um, in addition to HomeKit and Bluetooth. So you really have a three-in-one package. Um, we've also uh, brought to market a second generation doorbell cam that we call August Doorbell Cam Pro that launched last year as well and um, you know, really covers that space from a full uh, access control solution. Some bundling that we've done um, is to combine the Smart Lock Pro with our Connect Bridge, kind of like how uh, Patrick had described with the, uh, the, the Yale, the Nest by Yale product. It ships with a bridge. Um, and, and more and more, if you're not um, a Z-Wave uh, friendly installer, if you are uh, focused on creating um, you know, uh, solutions for your homeowner that are, uh, you know, I don't want to say app-based, 
but but perhaps you're 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 a do it for me or providing smart home solutions. Um, August fits right into that wheelhouse. You might be putting in a Sonos or a Rashio, um, you know, a Nest system. August can be a standalone product um, served by its own app, its own backend software, um, and mm -hmm. and standalone. And that that solution has really gained in popularity um, in the last few months. Overall. The Smart Lock Pro Plus Connect is our best-selling product, um, and it's begun to show that traction uh, in the pro space as well. Um, you'll see here in a couple of slides, um, the Smart Lock Pro with our Z-Wave has really uh, had some exciting um, uh, developments uh, recently in terms of our integration with Alarm.com and Honeywell um, and, and soon to be DMP to really have an offering uh, for the security channel. Uh, to tie in. So I'll get into a little bit more detail um, with these products as well uh, here in a couple of slides. I'll skip through this pretty fast, just a list of the, of the SKUs um, and, and the MSRP pricing, uh, but then going back to the, um, the original topic in terms of the command center as we like to refer to it, um, which, is, which is the app. So not only can you have local lock and unlock uh, when you combine the connect module, you can also have remote connect uh, where I can um, unlock or view my lock status from anywhere, get real-time notifications um, when, when uh, you know, loved ones or guests have come and gone. Um, you can also grant access on a schedule, so I can uh, provide uh, either di digital access or key code access for, say, my, my house cleaner on Wednesdays from 8, 8 a.m. to noon only. Um, I can provide a temporary code or a one-time code for, say, a maintenance worker um, or, uh, or a house guest. So those are, those are some of the, the ideas here. And, and combine that with a notification to know who's coming and going, where you start to understand that, wow, I can, I can manage an access system here. Um, architected for residential, yes, um, but being used um, in commercial applications uh, more and more. In fact, uh, the August headquarters in San Francisco has uh, three August locks and manages over 100 employees um, in a single app. And there is no theoretical limit. I'm sure there is a limit, but um, on our backend software of how many users you can have and how many homes you could have in an app. Um, and that's really why the power of the system uh, has become really popular, say, with Airbnb and VRBO. Um, second home um, uh, solutions. And uh, you know, just to close it all off, we have the activity log, which becomes really powerful when you incorporate the doorbell camera, because then you can see not only you have a package delivered, um, you know, what, what happened at the front door, um, and we provide 24 hours of free recording. So um, a couple of uh, tidbits there, um, touching on the integrations, um, some similar names here that you saw. Um, in the Yale summary, um, you know, really very tight integrations with Amazon Alexa um, and, and Google Home. Um, that's one of the benefits of the Smart Lock Pro Plus Connect. Um, not only does it attach to your network, but it comes ready to um, attach to your voice-enabled uh, assistant. Uh, you have a HomeKit chip on board, so Siri is native but you also have the ability to tie in with Alexa and Google Assistant. And I think we'd all be lying if we didn't say that um, that's really pacing the market today. Um, in addition to that, we have some of the more standard integrations. Z-Wave has brought us a whole um, a array of, of integrations really in that security vertical. Um, we're very excited about that. Uh, Alarm.com certification came in June, um, and, and as did Honeywell. Um, who are obviously market leaders um, in that space. And, and with that, you get the integration with the corresponding panels, the, the Nortec tuning and Qualsys panels. Um, and then some other things like RTI from, from a controller standpoint um, and, and Logitech Pro, uh, Fabaro. So, 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 so a lot of things here that I know uh, Worthington focuses on um, and, and should be very familiar to this crowd. I'll keep going here uh, again, at a, hopefully at a, at a, at a good speed, um, you know, keeping this uh, high level. We, we will be at Cedia 
um, uh, Patrick and I and the, and the Yale and August teams. Um, and, and hopefully we look forward to seeing you out there as well. Um, this is a little bit deeper dive into the Smart Lock Pro. We have a version that's only sold to dealers. That comes with a two-year extended warranty. Um, obviously, the compatibility with Z-Wave. Um, another technology we haven't touched on that ships in this box for free, uh, we included a, a door sensor, um, which is really a, a, a magnetic sensor that could either be flush mounted uh, or surface mounted. And the purpose is to know that your door is actually open or closed. And it sounds kind of silly, but um, you know, after feedback from um, numerous users that, hey, it's great that my door is locked, but is it closed? Um, we figured that hey, that was that was that was pretty important to the to the platform. So uh, make sure to check out DoorSense. It ships with every one of our lock products today. Um, and uh, in terms of battery, um, we four AA batteries, um, and then obviously the you know the installation um, here is is the key to this product. Um, inside of the door. That is the most uh, confusing aspect of an August installation. Sounds, again, silly, um, but most people don't understand that this simply replaces your thumb turn on the inside of the door. So you take your thumb turn off that throws the deadbolt. You use the mounting hardware, the universal mounting bracket that comes in the box. You actually use the same two screws that held the thumb turn on and mount that mounting bracket um, and then use one of three adapters, that blue adapter there um, that, that ships in the box, depending on the style of deadbolt that you have. Because again, you're not replacing the deadbolt hardware. You're not replacing the hardware in the out, on the outside of the door. So we retrofit with 98% of the existing deadbolts sold in North America. Um, and, and I haven't run into too many times in three years where someone has called me and said, hey, um, you know, it, it, this installation doesn't work or it's not compatible. There are some instances where we have to ship out longer screws or ask the, the installer to use longer screws, uh, but those are very rare. So uh, universally compatible, um, and we have guys that do this in six minutes. I mean, this is this is uh, child's play compared to what you do on a daily basis. Um, and, and oh, by the way, it's all app driven. It's all videos in the app that you can skip, yes. But if you're going through the first time and doing this for Mrs. Jones, um, you know, at her house and the husband's watching you over the shoulder, um, you know, fear not, you're not going to end up with any issues in door alignment um, and such. And also we pass up, you know, jurisdiction codes that may require um, you know, locksmith. Uh, so that's pretty powerful. Um, a lot of reasons to like, um, not, not like, love August. Um, and, and one of the most powerful features is the auto unlock. Um, that uses geofencing to identify that you've actually left for the day. You've left, I believe it's about a, a one mile radius from the house. Um, we have a home away mode that gets, um, that gets enrolled. And then when you come home for the day and you've broken that geofence and pulled into your driveway um, or walked up to your front door and you, and you come within Bluetooth range, your phone doesn't have to be out of your pocket. The app doesn't have to be running, um, but the door auto unlocks for you. It authenticates that yes, this is your phone, um, and we and auto unlock is enabled, and and that is the single most powerful feature um, of this product. You really start to live without keys. Um, my my three year old the other day didn't understand honestly that we needed the key for the front door. It was kind of funny. She didn't. She never associated that concept because she'd never seen us pull keys out and use them to lock uh, and unlock our front door. So that was kind of a real world experience for me. Um, obviously, we've gone over uh, notifications, um, uh, notifications and, re and confirmation of the activity feed, who's come and gone, um, and then you know, the integration with Airbnb. Um, the smart speaker penetration. You know, here's a slide that some of you might have seen already that really, um, you know, drives a lot of what we've done over the past um, you know, few months, and that is um, you know, creating a bundle here uh, that we now sell in distribution as well that includes the connect module, makes it very easy to understand that um, you know, these are the products that you need um, to go and install and have remote control from anywhere, 
um, to be able to tie into the voice systems. So uh, again, for this crowd, we're always going to sell the products separate as well. So if you have an intrusion or an alarm system or a Z-Wave or a Fabaro, you can use August Smart Lock Pro as a Z-Wave companion. The lock still works as a standalone item. Um, a lot of the features are enabled, but when you combine Connect, you get the best total experience. You get connection with um, the major voice control platforms. I'm probably beating that over the head, but it is a major um, press in this day and age. Um, we'll turn here to what we call our August Smart Lock uh, with third generation technology. It's a first generation hardware design, but we've been doing this for quite some time. Um, and, and really the capabilities of this lock are very similar to our traditional version. It's just a different form factor. Um, a little bit smaller, a little more compact, um, similar with the, uh, the deadbolt throw that a homeowner would have already. Um, very compact design, comes in silver and dark gray. Um, a couple of the differences between the Pro version and this version. Um, one, this one is um, obviously less price, um, but it does not include Z-Wave. So this is a Bluetooth item, um, Bluetooth only. It does work with Connect. You can pair it with Connect. Um, so you can have it enrolled with your voice system. You can control it from anywhere. Um, the only other things that you won't get, there's no chime or LEDs like you get on the Pro version. Um, but again, this has been very popular uh, for, uh, for, for installations that you know, maybe have a lower budget um, or are more design friendly um, and, and prefer this aesthetic. Check in. All right, and then we'll we'll turn to the doorbell cam here, and and we probably don't spend enough time talking about this because we get so excited about locks and um, you know control from anywhere. But obviously, doorbell cameras are a huge um, hit in the market today. Um, you have um, you know a whole array of vendors uh, in in this space. Um, we've we've built a product here uh, that we're very proud of in terms of uh, the video quality um, and. And, and one, one, one aspect here I don't think that we talk about enough is the onboard um, analytics server. To be able to identify um, a human and discern that between, uh, say, a pet or a passing by truck. Um, this, this device is actually looking for motion notification uh, for a human form. Um, and, and then we'll provide a notification to your phone that, hey, there's movement at your door. And we've done that because we want to make sure that we're not sending pixel, um, you know, like a pixelated um, motion notification that could be a tree branch blowing or a truck driving by that has annoyed all of us over the years in this industry. Um, so when we send you that video, we actually send you um, about five to 10 seconds of video prior to the motion being um, identified uh, by the, um, you know, by the doorbell. And that way, you actually get the person, the delivery driver, the, you know, your daughter, whoever it is, walking up, um, and, and you get to see you know, who's approaching the door. I think you, you'll, you'll notice with some experiences with doorbells, you may get the backside of someone walking away. And we really wanted to prevent that. So that's a, that's a technology we call a hindsight. Um, we also provide 24 hours of free recording. Um, and for a front door, um, we, we do have a 30-day subscription for $4.99. You can get 30 days of video. Um, but really, in terms of the front door, um, I, I tend to say that we have uh, you know, 24 hours of storage there. You can also upload the video to the cloud. Um, you could text it or email it. So you have the ability to save a video if you need it. And uh, just getting back to brass tacks, um, this is a hardwired uh, video doorbell camera. It simply replaces your existing doorbell. Uh, it rings the mechanical chime. It works off the of two wires that already exist, 12 to 24 volts. Um, so it is a wired doorbell. It's not, it's not wireless. It's not reliant on battery. Um, it does require um, your expertise to put this product in uh, in, in many cases. Um, and and the, best, the best part about this product is it pairs beautifully in the app with the August um, ecosystem. So I can, be, I can see and speak with a visitor at my front door and also unlock or lock the door for them in real time from the same app screen. Um, so, so some thoughts there. Um, 
on the on the video doorbell camera. Um, I'll move forward with the smart keypad. The keypad is an accessory uh, for the lock systems, um, and actually a very uh, a, a very useful accessory. Um, obviously, since our lock installs on the inside of the door, uh, we have to uh, provide a key, an, ex, an external wireless keypad. Um, this actually uses Bluetooth um, and and is powered by two AAA batteries. Um, it allows you to uh, enable pin codes um, unique by user four to six digits. Um, so if you have uh, elderly or foreign visitors or um, children, kids, those without smartphones, or even just for the convenience, um, you know, I use this every day. There's another um, one touch lock feature. Um, the red August button at the bottom allows you to uh, lock your door with a single touch, uh, which is pretty neat because you can be leaving for the day and just hit the button and the door locks behind you. Again, you start to move away much in the same way that Yale has to a key-free um, experience. Finally here, and I'm wrapping up, uh, the August Connect, which is the bridge um, plug-in module to provide remote connectivity, uh, pairs your Wi-Fi network with the Bluetooth uh, from the lock. This is a one-to-one -one setup. Um, you do need to connect for every lock that you have. Um, a sidebar, you can use the doorbell camera as a bridge. So this can actually act as a connect um, and provide, since, since this is a hardwired uh, Wi-Fi device, we also built in a Bluetooth bridge. So many of our installers will use the doorbell camera as that bridge for a more elegant hardwired experience. Um, regardless, the app takes you through all of this setup, uh, very easy, very straightforward. Um, and then here's an idea of our, our, our support center. We're open almost all the time, uh, nights, mornings, weekends. We have an incredible database of, um, of troubleshooting and install guides. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that this crowd is going to, um, you know, to be able to use these products without a whole lot of support. There's a question here that, that Garrett didn't answer or I failed to, um, I failed to cover. Um, you know, Patrick, I don't know if you have anything in closing for the group, but I appreciate everyone joining us today and spending some time to learn about the system. And, and again, we look forward to meeting you at an, an upcoming event or, or, or trade show. And um, you, can, you can reach me anytime, mike at august.com um, is my email address. Again, mike at august.com if you have questions or, or follow-up. Thank you. Mike, thank you. So yeah, I would just say again in closing, folks, please feel free to reach out. You can certainly reach out to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my phone number. It's it's always available to you, but the number is 704-351-6378. Or you can reach me at Patrick P A T R I C K dot Blazer, which is spelled B L E S E R at Asa Abloy dot com. Feel free to reach out anytime. Look forward to seeing you soon. We'll certainly be at Cedia, next big stop on the tour, right? So uh, if you happen to be going to Cedia this year, we'd encourage you to come by and see all of our products. And uh, again, Joel, thank you for arranging this and appreciate everyone's support very, very much.